What the? What's that on you, huh? Gunfight out of the cornfield by Brayway Manor. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Alden, hey. You know anything about these runaways off the chain gang? Oh, hello. I heard both sides of that story. They're either horrible murderers or they were just defending themselves. Take your pick, which, as to where they are, no idea, sir. Well, I guess you don't know everything. <laughs> so long. Bye for now. I assume this isn't just a social call. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Okay, mister? Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, oh, oh. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Oh, 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 you need to drink this. Suck them in my It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I can repay you someday. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Don't much like it. I'm out here.
There we go. Moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent no, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. So welcome to our humble police house. Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution yeah. machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Are you well? These days ain't short.
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Off you go and fetch the man. His kindly and noble executioner awaits. Okay, my girl. Never shall a man have been so humanely dispatched as this Crazy! Looking for trouble. Back to it. isn't too flattened either. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Let's go, girl.
Easy. Whoa. Take me to damn cork, then! <laughs> this ain't America! We ain't free no more! <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives! All I did was graze my livestock! Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. Going to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, Mister? This professor, 
Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You may. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. We got a permit and everything. You was in, animal husband. Am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Well, I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You no, know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. Half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding, some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen the trees explode in front of me. I seen death. will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Bring him Here, to me. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just Come on. Wonderful. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Ha, bring him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, 
Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our... our, um... Our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Thank <laughs> you. 